Hey guys, Gossip and Reactions Humoristic. Harrison Burkett double downs on controversial commencement speech. I stand behind what I said. Of course. He will stand behind what he said. You know why? He just get a raise from the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, he's the highest pay kicker in NFL history. 25 point something million dollars. So because he's a white guy and he's a Christian, he's allowed to say whatever hell he feels like saying towards or on behalf of women, what women should do or should not do. Now, can you imagine if it was a black guy said that this guy probably would never be kicking any ball in the NFL, period. Do you see the advantage white guys have here in America? It's the world. We happen to live in it, y'all. Take this shit for what it is. He doubled down on what he said after all the co uh, controversy. He's the highest paying kicker now. 25 point something million dollar, y'all. Do you see the shit for what it is? Harrison Bucker is standing by the comments he made during his controversial Benedictine College commencement speech in May. The Kansas City Chiefs kicker 29 spoke to the local media at training camp on Wednesday, telling reporters that his words came from a place of love. After admitting that he respected all the viewpoints of people who spoke out about his speech, which suggested women should embrace the term homemaker. Burkett explained in terms of what I said, I've prayed about, about it and thought about it and I was really intentionally behind what I said. He doubled down on it. Why not? People did not take it serious, whatever he said. You are in a... Um... Oh gosh, what's this he was in? Please forgive me, I lost my thought. He was in a graduation full of women, the high educated women. And there he is coming out with, you should stay home, cook clean. You should not try to educate yourself. And he said, he stand on what he said. And not only he just got the best news ever by getting 25 point something million dollar. Now he's the highest paid kicker. So instead of insulting disrespected women, don't think women should be educated, should stay home, become mothers, raising kids, and they bring the bread home. Now he's making more money. Do you see the shit for what it is? Come on, y'all. Uh, Bucket for the Todd reporters that he talked about his speech with some of his teammates teammates which led to tons of conversation in the locker room he said it also allowed the group to connect more and understand each other i really believe if people knew me as a person and understood it was coming from a place of love and not a place of trying to attract or put people down bucket added i only want the best for people <laughs> that's what i was trying to say there i think the people that were in that gymnasium all understood what i was saying you want the best for people who the heck are you can you just want the best for you and your family do you have to put your belief your input into other people's mind of what they choose to do in life do you know now people can choose to have kids or not? Some people get married just to be happy, just to have a partner, doing business, whatever. And they don't care for having kids. They don't care for cooking. They don't care for cleaning the house. They do have money to afford people to come in and do the shit for them. So your belief, your understanding, your strong religion belief should not be forced or put in somebody else's. Again, at the end of the day, the man is not sorry for what he said. And he stand double down on that saying, I meant what I said. I pray on it. It is what it is. Whether you take it or leave it, I think a woman place should be in the kitchen. And he was not punished or suspended for it. Instead, he get a raise. Subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.